So I just got home from work and it's like 5 a.m. I stopped by McDonald's when I got out because I was hoping they would have breakfast because Google said they're open 24 seven. Unfortunately, they're still on COVID hours. So instead of getting heart disease tonight, I guess I'm just going to bed hungry. That just goes to show you sometimes life just isn't fair. So after sleeping on my messy bed for about five hours, I wake up, shower, and play some Elden Ring. I'm already Elden Lord, so there's not much for me to do. I just kind of mess around now. Sometimes me and Kingsley will have a staring match, but he falls asleep pretty quickly, so I don't think he understands the rules of the game. I don't actually have anything interesting planned for today. To be honest, I don't even know what I was thinking when I decided to make a video about my life, because I don't think it's... There's all that fascinating stuff. After eating that delicious breakfast, I sit down and begin my daily ritual. I watch Jack and Jill, the greatest movie of all time, probably every day of my life so far. <laughs> After all that hard work, I head upstairs to take a delicious nap. I use my roommate's bed when he's not home because his bed is a lot more comfortable when it comes to naps. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but they've been doing some sort of like construction thing outside the house. I don't even know what's going on. I just haven't been able to sleep, even though I have this relaxing ambiance music going on right now. So for those of you wondering, this is my roommate's room. And as you guys can see, he's got a lot of uh, great personality. So if there's any single ladies over the age of 21 watching this, hit him up. I have his uh, private phone number listed down in the description below. So make sure to text them in the middle of the night. And just like that, the hours fly right by. It's already time to get ready for work, so I head downstairs and start packing up my things. But before heading out, I want to talk to you guys about something a little bit serious. So sit with me and philosophize for a second. You know, you know the thinking chair from Blue's Clues? Yeah, this is this is what it is. Everyone, everyone remember Blue's Clues, right? Anyway, there are a few factors as to why I'm broke. There's internal and external factors. I'm second generation immigrant, low wage job opportunities, but I also take some responsibility because my consumer mindset. So every time I see something like I wanna buy, I'm like, I justify it to myself. I'm like, like I'll just buy this shirt this one time and it'll make me happy. But it's really hard to not spend sometimes when your friends like invite you to go out to eat and you don't really wanna spend your whole week just going to work and then coming home, going straight to sleep. You know, right? You wanna live your life, you're young. Especially since like today's Friday, so I wanna go out and do something fun. But in the end, it doesn't matter because I wake up with negative $30 in my bank account on Saturday because I have all the bills I had to pay. So in the end, this talk was pointless. After that depressing realization, I pack my lunch and I get ready to head out to work. I just got to work. The cycle continues. But I think I'm gonna have to end the video here because I'm not allowed to film inside, so. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to keep watching more of this type of content. I'll see you guys next time.